having some technical difficulties at the moment, just trying to figure out why my model is not showing up on the screen. There's always problems when it comes to stuff like this. I think I might have found, discovered the culprits. Why... is the size Ah, there we go, finally. It's kind of spooked. It's very spooked just then. Now I just need to check one last thing and we'll get started. Oh, <laughs> that's, uh... And then let me just put my hands back on really quick. Put on the headset. Oh yeah, it's game time. Hey yo everyone, this is Lawler Hicks and we are back with another day of Outward. Going to try and actually go Outward from the starting area this time though. Because we have been most, I think we mostly explore everything there is to see here, but I could be wrong. I remember I need to go back to town to go sell the stuff that I took from the bandit base, preferably without dying again. And then we'll see what else we can check around town, or check around the starting area of Chersonese. And then we'll decide whether or not to learn magic. That should be a fun diversion, and although you do have to use up some stamina and... 
health, something tells me it would be worth the wait. Alternatively, I'd probably also just collect some gold so I can learn more skills from these trainers in town. I'm um, going to see if I can max out all that I can le learn from them before leaving because, um, accord at least as implied by... Let me change, fix up my model here. As implied by a re Seth review, things may happen to your starter town when you're away. And I do not want to lose out on that stuff. Let me see here. Cap chat. Also looks like the music is a little bit... Hey, Vim boy, How are you today? I'm going to raise this a little bit so y'all can actually hear the music and the sound effects in the background. How are you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, had some scuff at the, beginning of the at the beginning of the stream, which I guess is par for the course, right? <laughs> um, that I'm working at really quick. Ah! Uh, at least you chose to throw a rubber ducky this time. Thank you. Um... Uh, how do I... Ow! Thank you. Another hydration. Great, I'm all wet and we barely started. Cancelled. Twitlongered. Ratioed. Uh, okay, how do I... How do I shot web? How do I... There we go. There we go. Much better. I can still see my other hand over here. Now I just need to do this. Now I'll try to drag this over away here. And we are good to go. How are you doing, Vinboy? Been a good day? Actually, I better take a sip of my gamer juice here since you did the hydrate for me. Thank you. I love how the webcam can't actively see my face. It's just covered with my with my um, Yeti thermos here, and it just knew that I was drinking something. You're alive? Just woke up and already at work, huh? Well, I will attempt to entertain you at work, so that your work day will go by all the quicker for it, I'm sure. By the way, uh, what do you think of my sound settings? Do you think this is good? Is the uh, game music too soft, too loud? My I, lowered, I had to lower the volume of my voice because I was listening back to some VODs and I realized I sound a little bit loud. Just a little bit. That is true. My sexy voice and my startlingly good, ambiguous, sexually ambiguous looks. Mhm. Mm I mean, it just seems kind of jarring not being able to hear the game itself. I feel like sometimes. I need to dump all this stuff. I can't bring all this with me, unfortunately. But I fucked up the other last time I was playing, and I gave myself food poisoning again. What time is it? It's 8 in the evening. How much of this can I dump? Not much. This is all food. Uh, I guess I don't need this, since I can't figure out how to fix it. So, we'll get rid of that. Hex cleaner. Hmm. Always forget to unmute the game and no one tells me because chat tells me it's all about me and they don't care for the game lol. They bull me so much. Aw, uh, that sounds like your chat is a keeper. Or are keepers, I should say. Are keepers. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Even though I've underclocked 
my graphics card, it's still regularly reaching the 1700s of the GPU clock. Maybe it's the memory clock that's really screwing me over? Eh. As long as it doesn't have any- as long as we don't uh, freeze up, I guess it's no big deal. I want to avoid having to purchase a new graphics card for as long as possible. Do I dare look for some seafood to make additional soothing, or do I make soothing tea? I'm not heading to a cold area anytime soon, and I don't really need mana. I guess we'll worry about it in the morning. Let's go to bed. I need to set out my... Uh, set up my bird tent here and to go to sleep. This game has an interesting mix of, even though they want you to play at hardcore, there's a lot of quality of life change or things in this that are immersion breaking, but make your game play so much, so much less painful. Early to bed, early to wise. Rise, not wise. Confirm. <laughs> I'm assuming we can get better uh, backpacks later on, so this should be no problem. Do, do, do. So that's the full saying? That's really cute. <laughs> I always keep- I keep saying that playing this game feels like playing Skyrim except with all the mods installed. Everything that I need to- needed to install in my game- in my game of Skyrim with mods is in this game by default. Uh, drink some water, why don't you? Good. Looks like I still cannot eat any foods, which is a bummer. Let's see what I can sell in my inventory. So we can walk off into a wild blue yonder. I've been told that I need blue sand to craft some awesome armor. So maybe what I can do is go along the coast and um, look for that. And get used to killing crabs, I guess. Or better yet, we can go fishing for a little bit. Make some more food and make some more of these rations for her to travel. I already got 13 of these. I think that can last me a decent while. No need to, so there's no need to collect more, right? There's also a section of the troglodyte caves that I saw where you can enter put in a, a aquamarine to I presume go to a different secret passage. So I want to visit there as well. Either way, I really wish I still had my lighthouse, you know? Um, having a home to store all my crap in would be really convenient. But beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Literally, in my case. Oh, hey! My, uh, dysentery has worn off. I can now finally get back to eating breakfast. There's also a lot of little places here where I can store my junk. Like a literal junk pile. What I would like are more quests. Greetings, friend! Greetings, friend. I got 82 silvers here. The game kind of feels like it's pushing you towards getting the uh, magic stuff. Just with all these mana affecting qualities. But at the same Can time... You? It kind of like goes back and forth. Like it lets you obviously go without them. 
I'm glad these things tell you which ones are already known, so I don't waste money on them. Is it really less heavy to carry ingots of gold instead of silvers? I mean, I guess that makes sense. No practical use for gold, but they will all buy ingots at the same fixed price, cooking pot. So can you just teach me how to make, uh, make use of these turnips then, since I see those all the time? Maybe I can learn that myself? Ocean for cuss. Godberry wine. Hmm. Drinking on the job. I wonder how you make food. I like how cheap this is, too. But I digress. Can you teach me anything else? Can I help you? If you deploy a cooking pot over a campfire, or if you have a home with a proper kitchen, you'll be able to cook recipes with more than one ingredient. What can I do for you? I wonder. Learn the spells of the Cabal Winds. There is no better teacher than uh, the Ghost Pass. Okay. Amba, my friend. Amba, my friend. Since I'm planning on using shields, I should probably learn this too. This requires 100 silver, so I need to keep looting the shit out of places and selling them back to this town. And this requires a breakthrough point. I need to be careful with those because you only get three in the whole game. Are these really the only trainers in this town? I get that this is supposed to be a small village, but come on. Uh, what else we got here? Is there something you need? Uh, uh. Keep only what you can't live without in your pockets. Learning how to effectively split your gear is essential. While wearing a backpack, anything you pick up will go straight to the bag. Yeah, it actually makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Sometimes these things, what seems really simple, is not so simple. And you know, now that he's mentioned that, I just realized I don't actually have any... I only have one bandage. But I guess my main problem is I got too much... Um, stuff in my backpack. I need to dump... I clearly need to dump some of these, right? But... Hmm. Well, hard choices and all that. I should probably sell some of these things since I'm not going to be using them. What can I do for you? All right. All right. Sell that... Don't need more than one of these. I'm gonna keep the awesome tower shield. Raging potion increases your damage. And I could sell this for money if I really wanted to. I need this to refill the oil lamps, but they weigh a lot. Need to keep those for potions. Need this to work in the mines. Um, he needed this to work as basically a rogue. I'm not really sure what kind of class I'm gonna be playing yet. I'm kind of experimenting with weapons in between experimenting with weapons at the moment. Some of these things I even sold to this guy so far.
including this insect husk. It seems to me like selling stuff to this guy is probably the... Uh, talk to you what loud. Can I do for you? Here's what I need. Maybe I should just find a place to toss the sand, because the blue sand, because this, I'm not gonna be able to find the sand and get that much silver in a timely manner to have him craft me the armor sets. What can I do for you? Well, bye. I mean, is there anyone else I can talk to in town? Blessings to of a lot upon you. Oh. A healer. Well, for one thing, be wary on the beaches. Uh, not only are they nasty up close, they boast a, a deadly range, range attack? attack as well. Really? The Jersonese is full of animals you can hunt for food. And plenty of trees for wood. Huh. Blessings of a lot upon you. As a human, he was far from perfect. Interesting. Uh. Then came the scourge. Living thought guiding us to an easy stealer with him for most the of the five century. five winds we once prayed to were temperamental and unreliable. Hmm. That's interesting, but um, I need to find more townspeople to give me jobs to do. In a cruel way, a cruel way, I kind of like the fact that most of these townspeople don't necessarily have anything to do or say to you because you're just a regular person to them and them to you. This is awful. Really wish I could figure out where um, Yazan's stash is, though. All I remember is him saying that it was somewhere along the coast near a destroyed ship. And he then he mentioned something about the moon commands the stars? Some cryptic nonsense. But as far as I can see from here, I don't see a destroyed ship anywhere except for up that one over there, which is fairly close to town. But I don't know how I'm going to get there. You can't really swim in this game either. Well, maybe I should at least dump my stuff in my backpack before I go on a wild goose chase again. I'm so glad this guy is just letting me dump his stuff, my stuff here, inside my backpack and my uh, cooking pot, which are just chilling there. Very convenient, you know. So I'm gonna leave all my silvers in there, and my blue sand, and my stone. I'll keep the pickaxe with me. Actually, maybe that's what they're trying to get across. If you're going to go into battle and stuff, why would you carry... Like a sword, and a pickaxe, and a bow, and a... Well, this is the conceit, I guess, that I have a little bit from most modern RPGs, which lets you just move around all the stuff. I'll carry this stuff and, like, swap at will. That's just not how it works. I mean, when it comes to, like, if you were actually this person running around, you know? I guess I'll put that away, then. I do want to... Why do I have two... Actually, why do I have two picks? I should probably dump this or sell this one. At least. I'll keep the potions with me in my bag. Hey, Christian. <laughs> oh, I know a thing or two about Mind Break. 
<laughs> How are you today? From software mode? <laughs> mood. That is such a mood. Till 4 a.m. it is? What a trooper. Don't kill yourself now. Are these antidotes really two pounds? Holy shit. Hmm. Alright. We'll just bring one antidote with us. And only one rage potion as well. Thank you for the food. Nom nom nom. Hey Steel, long time no see. How are you today? I'm doing great. All things considered. I can't, I have stuff to do people to protect as sad as that sounds. That's not sad. That makes you sound responsible. <laughs> How are you Steel? Ah! Ah, let me hydrate. Thank you for the hydration redeem. <laughs> well, what's wrong? What did you expect? <laughs> Okay. Let's go ahead and sell my spare pickaxe and then let's go out on the town. What could I do for you? All right. All right. <laughs> Tired. Tired, I'm getting ready for a trip, which means I don't get my normal weekend. A lot of pre-trip stress and jitters. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't worry. Soon you'll be there. And all your troubles would float away, at least for a time being. <laughs> now then, let's see if we could find this thing.
Bro, there was a free fishing harpoon here this whole time. I feel dumb. <laughs> I wonder if I can go outside and I go around and go over here. Or do I need to do some funny business with climbing around and stuff? Can I help you? Carry on then. Hmm. I wonder if these guys Can know where you? the uh, sunken ship is. <laughs> Stay safe. Farewell. I wonder what other stuff the uh, gate card can teach me. What about this guy? Greetings, friend. Sorbrian? Sells guns! And I can actually purchase one of these, too. A straw hat. Trader garb. Adventurer's backpack with a capacity of 35. But it's only 35, not 50 like my current backpack. But it doesn't interfere with dodge, which is really cool. And gemstones. I believe you need these things actually to make magic. I like the fact that he sells guns though. Yo, why am I hungry already? Dang. Let us have a feast. There we go. Need something? <laughs> a defensive technique with a two-handed sword. I teach you the pommel counter. It'll leave your foes confused. The lesson costs 50 silver. Well, that would be cool, but I'm not using any two-handed weapon. Any two-handed swords. I have a one-handed sword. I think it's difficult in this game, but if you treat it kind of like soul style where you just have to be very, very careful, it's not too bad. Alright. Am I planning on sleeping in this journey? I kind of don't want to. Really want to have a shield bash of some kind. I got food, I got one antidote, I got one rage potion, I got a water pouch, and some stuff for my some oil for my lantern, and some potions which increases your my defense against attacks. I think this is about as good as prepared as I'll ever be, with one exception. I want to arrange my skills here so that they're easier to use. Since I'm not bringing the daggers with me, no need to have these dagger skills available. Ah! Another hydrate. Hey Baka, how are you today? Thank you for the food. Um, num, 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 num. Um, num, num. Come on. Come on. Um, num. Thank you. Mm. And a posture check, no less. Thank you. Thank you. And always. 
<laughs> Checking my posture to make sure everything's all right there. Really wish Taz Cleaver. I mean, I want to learn sword skills, right? But maybe I should just keep the uh, weapon that I know how to use currently. That I have actually have skills for. Do I still have my hatchet or did I throw it away? Oh no. Well, I feel dumb. I can't use these things because I don't have a hatchet anymore. I guess I must have got lost it or sold it at some point. Well. There's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying. Till you run out of cake. The science gets done. You make me gun. For the people who are still alive. Going to set these instead. And I'm going to set my bow to one. So Q and E pulls out the sword and shield. R kicks people. And one brings out the bow and arrow. Make sure that my arrows are equipped. Got 10. I'll need to forge more somehow. What do you need actually to make arrows again in this game? Wood and steel. That doesn't seem too difficult. Three wood added. Hey Jones, welcome to the stream and thank you for stopping by. Uh, let me read back chat message just really quick. Baka, uh, thank you for stopping by, always appreciate it. I'm doing great actually, especially since I got my graphics card promise to work out. Um, Jones, I feel like it would, but that's because I'm coming from an area of playing the Elder Scrolls series a lot and I always felt like the ability to carry lots of crap around um, kind of overly simplifies the game to a joke, basically. I mean, sure, you c you do start off with weight requirements, but if you get the steed, but as you get stronger and if you get the uh, steed, the steed, um, the steed zodiac, the steed bird sign, it kind of makes it irrelevant. Unless you're playing Oblivion or other or Morrowind, where that sort of stuff was fairly tough. So, in my opinion, I would not use a carry mod. I feel like... I don't know. But, now, I would like to clarify, I tend to like playing hard games. So, it might not be your cup of tea. In which case, if you really feel like it's making the game a little too hard for you, then, by all means, go ahead. I just personally would not. <laughs> I personally would not, basically. Um, what am I saying about your wood? Um, I don't know. What was I saying about your wood? How easy it is to acquire from just any, from just any place around town? I kid. I kid. Alright. It is actually getting late in game. It's 422. We're going to be starting our journey, our exploration of the out great outdoors late. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Maybe. Drink up, baby. 
let's go outward onward and outward to outward Now then, where are we visiting again? Oh right, I want to see if I can explore behind this, if at all possible. I'm not sure if it is possible, because there's this big mountain range that's in the way. In the way. Or last time I went southward to go to Vandalville Fortress and found to my dismay that this is actually a banded fortress. There's also a banded camp up to the north. Makes me wonder what this fort is over here. Is this also run by the bad guys? And what's over there at the Vigil Pylon? That's what we're here to find out. Do, 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 do. It's getting quite late too. It's 5 13 in the evening over there in game. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. I like that there's supply caches all over the place so I can dump any stuff I find. So if I die, I don't lose everything necessarily. Thanks for your opinion. Played multiplayer with a friend and we had a bug while picking up a backpack at the same time and it bugged out and disappeared completely. Which ruined the experience and we have not played since. And if we get back into it, I don't want that it happens again. So I thought maybe remove the need for backpacks is an option. Eh, if it's to deal with that specific bug, I guess that makes sense. I mean, in that use case. But if you mean just like in general, I personally would not remove the weight carry things. Because like, in the time I've played this game so far, the backpacks thing is not the only bug that is out there. I personally have not experienced the backpack bug, but I've experienced other bugs like falling through wall geometry. And sometimes, at some point, you'll just kind of need to accept that the game is jank and bad stuff might happen i feel like in that case maybe it'd just be better to save frequently actually wait no this game saves automatically so i guess that's not as viable an option as one would hope um hmm. i don't know in your specific use case that would make sense Re-entering Blister Barrow for the exact for the explicit purpose of finding this one section that need that looked like you could put a stone in it. Just need to confirm what kind of gem it was. I'm fairly sure it's an aquamarine. Also, I wonder if all the resources that were in here last time respawned. I guess not, because this dead adventurer still has nothing in his pack. But do the trogs respawn? Mm -hmm. It's important for, obviously, the making the game difficult, but if you're playing with a fr but like if you're playing with a friend and whatnot, I can see I totally see what you mean about trying to remove uh, elements of frustration which don't add further to your gameplay. There's nothing but dead trogs here. I guess they don't respawn. Uh, 
Oh, so you do need a tiny aquamarine after all. And I do have a tiny aquamarine back at home. Okay. Guess we will head back to town and get the tiny aquamarine and continue here to see what else we can loot out of this dungeon. That's no big deal. Gather star mushroom. Hey, Vapor. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Why do I have stuff here? Take all. My greedy little heart's probably going to get me killed again. I could have sworn I explored all this stuff before, though, so I don't know why I'm still finding... Oh, wow. Those are dead trogs, and they are nailed to the uh, ceiling and to the wall. That's kind of interesting. Big glowing mushrooms. I am actually loving the game. It is pretty much my Elder Scrolls, except with lots and lots of mods. All the immersion mods I put in Elder Scrolls are in this game by default, which is a huge plus, but also a lot of frustrations would come with that. Obviously, come with that. <laughs> Blood shrooms. Blood shrooms are for making health potions, if I call it correctly. I learned that from the bandit camp after they kidnapped me. <laughs> what you been up to, Vapor Magic? Man, now I'm really glad I dumped all my stuff out back in, back in, uh, back at the town. It means I have so much more room to, uh, loot the hell out of this place. Uh, stealth potion, huh? I learned stealth potion. Mana stone. I can also make a bunch of more arrows now, actually. Let me go do that really quick. Cool. I'm gonna make some more bandages as well. I'm gonna equip the bandages. <laughs> I had a physio earlier and then had to unvirus my old PC because my brother apparently has no clue that you can't download from anywhere. Ooh, that's a painful lesson to learn, but everyone le has to learn that at some point in their early age. In theory, I could pick up everything if I run back and forth 20 times, so in the end it just saves time, right? Difficulty does not come from weight capacity. Well, I disagree. The whole point of it is to make it difficult to do so, because while you can run back and forth 20 times... Um, you would still need to fight your way through the respawning enemies in the overworld 20 times. Or you can risk trying to bring all of it back on one time and also risk losing all your stuff or having to retrieve it back from the bandit camp. Um, even then, the difficulty is part of the immersiveness because it basically forces you to make a decision of what you value and whether your time is more valuable than the stuff that you're trying to carve home. So, pretty much the same thing. I mean, if you can just carry everything all at once, you don't need to make a value... You don't need to make... You don't have the difficulty in making a value judgment. It kind of removes that entirely. It's kind of like... There's also the element of where... I feel like a lot of games give you this sort of... Um... Hubris in if you spend enough time working at something, you could eventually overcome anything through sheer repetitiveness, which is not a luxury that we have in. I want to say the real world, but I can't. I don't want to say the real world, but I can't get away from saying the real world because all these difficulties placed on the game are constraints meant to mirror 
difficulties from the real world. Like the fact that you need to eat to keep yourself fit and that you need to rest regularly to regain your health and stamina that is not recovered over time. I mean, for example, yeah, you could run back and forth 20 times or you can just save the time and make it so that you don't need to do that. But I could also argue that, okay, then I can also just remove the health and stamina loss that you would need to recover from resting by putting in a mod that removes that entirely because that also saves time that you would have had to spend sleeping. But then what's to keep me from saying, okay, I can just make it so that you don't help lose health or stamina, period, so that you don't need to spend the time grinding to make recovery items which you then need to use to recover that after you take damage from the game. But then also, why even take damage from the game at all, thereby removing that? And then at that point, why even play the game if I can just go on YouTube and watch someone else's playthrough and see the ending? I mean, at the end of the day, you decide, I guess, what you value in the gameplay and if you feel like if you really feel like you are better served not having to deal with the weight limit then all right it's like for me this has value i personally like difficulty in games so i keep it around i feel like if this was the sort of thing that i don't want to deal with at all i probably wouldn't be interested in the game to begin with my problems with skyrim was that it was actually it felt so easy as to be boring so i intentionally made it hard but in a lot of stuff that other people would find frustrating to make the game that initially had no value to, no, no next to no value to me have value um I'm kind of digressing, but that's basically where I was going with that. Sorry, I tend to ramble a little bit. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I probably run out of fuel for my lantern, but I'm sure I could find more fuel later. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't kill everyone in this cavern after all. Check it out. How come the tab targeting distance is so far, so short? Is there more than one of them here? No, there is more than one of them. We are, let's go backwards. Wow, I cannot fire for shit. Let's see if I'm any better at fighting though. I mean, these things are fairly weak, but just like grunts in Halo, they seem they're weak at first, but if you get ganged up on by several of them, it becomes a pain in the ass. Thankfully, I actually know how to properly use the game mechanics now. Or previously, I kept forgetting that there's even tag targeting, tag, tag targeting in this game. Yeah, I think that would also be a good idea. Um, I was actually playing. I actually played another game called metal unit where I ran into an issue where a hard crash caused me to lose my save file. I raged a little bit about that, but then I found out that the save file is saved in um, app in uh, app data, so I just started making regular backups of that, even though that's also a game where you can't manually save. The game autosaves. And I wouldn't be surprised if Outward's the same way, where somewhere the save of Outward is held, so if you just make backups of that, the next time you have a bad crash or a bad glitch, just overwrite your save and hopefully the game will start off from where you left off. <laughs> oh, there's another one there. 
glor glorious. Okay. Oh. Is there more? Oh. Why am I not drawing my sword? There we go. Oh, he's fleeing. He's fleeing. Not for long, unfortunately. I'm gonna run you down. It is exhilarating to be the one that's actually doing the hunting. For once. I have a feeling, though, he is leading me into a trap of some kind. I've been down here before. I wonder what else respawned in this map. Like, for instance, if the, uh... If I can get the mushroom shield again. Ah! Thank you so much for the follow, Jones. Much appreciated. That freaked me out a bit there. <laughs> I had the volume turned up on my headset, so uh, when you followed, it was really loud. Like, really loud. These are the same corpses from before. Maybe I did just kill everything. And the mushroom shield didn't respawn, so I guess no more. I can't uh, cheese that. Lots of trog triads sitting around from when I killed all these trogs earlier. It was hell trying to get out of this place. Alright, I know what I must do now. I'm gonna head back to town, get my tiny aquamarine, head back here, place it into the funny door, and then... And then see what lies beneath. Huh. He's dead. Getting used to this uh, system here for picking up items that I made up for myself. What time is it in game right now? It's 11 in the evening. I wonder if I could just camp inside here and I'll be safe since I've murdered the shit out of all the trogs. Another dead trog over here. Can I pick this up? Nope. More dead bodies. I think I'm actually starting to get lost. <laughs> Man, that would suck right about now. Wait, no. This is heading downward. Thankfully, these are not like the catacombs of Paris. If you just follow the line, you should be able to find yourself back at the beginning. In theory. Here's a junk pile. Yep, here it is. We're already back at the beginning. Thought so. Let's go to sleep for a little bit. We'll go outside. 
I'll sell some of my spoils of war. And then... We will go back here and see what lies beneath. Huh. What time is it? It's only 12.40. In the game. I love how ambush chance is 100% by sleeping in here. I guess they don't want me sleeping inside the, uh, cave. No problem. Have a good night, Jones. Thank you for stopping by. Ah, I should have really packed my flint and steel. That was a pro game remove right there. Oh well, better luck next time, I suppose. How's my gotcha lock looking? I guess I'll just sleep for a little bit instead. A nap or two. Just a little bit of nap. Supposedly having nap breaks of 20 minutes each every so often is good for your brain. I'm not not really all that knowledgeable on the subject at all, so... But that's just what I hear. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright. Now then, let's head back home. Have a little bit of breakfast, or dinner, I suppose. Whichever. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Well, that's not good. We are not heading towards the bandit camp. We are, however, heading back to the main city of Surza. I guess that is the idea behind a siesta. Good point, Steel. Yeah, well, the United States tends to be super uh, workaholic, it feels like, compared to other countries. 
Just like in Japan, we too have people here that just expire from purely from working. Good morning, hey homie. I have shit to sell to you. <laughs> I like these rags. They're also relatively, uh, low weight. Confirm transaction. What can I do for you? What All can I do right. with you? You can do a lot of things for me, my friend. Like giving me monies. Thank you. Let me make some more arrows from some trees here. And I forget, how do I... I know the game taught me how to make a super, one of these potion things, but... I don't really remember what I need. I guess I need an alchemist uh, station, right? I don't have one of those right now. The last place I saw one too was in the freaking bandit camp, and obviously I'm not going back there just to use that. So that means hey there. I can't really make any use out of this stuff, so there's no point keeping it in my inventory. Open a nomad a backpack. Store all my gold in here. Don't really need. I like how I can just keep putting things in the nomad backpack. Move this to bag. I think we're good. That's weird. So I can't keep these things in my pocket then. This is so heavy. That's dumb. The things I do to keep this shield around. Oh, 
I wonder if I should just try using quarter staff. Quarter staff doesn't even do that much damage, does it? 16. Impact 14. Impact speed slightly slower than. Hmm. Maybe that is an idea. Alright, it is time for us to re-enter. Give me some food to eat as well, please. Oh, I forgot to bring my flint to tinder. Do I need it? I guess it doesn't even need that much room, all things considered, so it shouldn't be a big deal to carry it around. But it takes so long to load. It's only 6 in the morning, though. It is fairly early. I got plenty of time. There we go. Alright, once more into the breach. Do 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 Even the birds are singing. Little things like that. Could have sworn I just heard a sound of someone working like banging a hammer and whatnot. Makes me curious. What's with this gate with no guards? Or does that just lead to a huge bandit camp? I guess.
Do, 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 do. Now, shall we see what's within this deep, dank dungeon? Deeper and danker, I should say. can decraft most weapons and armors? Shit. Shit, why didn't you tell me that before, game? That seems kind of important, you know? Now then, we explore further into this cave system using the tiny aquamarine. If I could just find that doorway. Here it is. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Now I need a small sapphire? Well, that's gonna take a while. Actually, I had a small sapphire before, but I think I sold it. So. Great. Great. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find a replacement eventually. In the meanwhile though... Let's not dilly-dally here any further. I want to go... See how far we can go to the other... On the other ends of the map. So we've only explored about maybe half of the first starting area to begin with. And I wonder if there's additional lore in the game that will teach me stuff like why there are bandit tribes all over the place, how to conflux mountain to get a magical ley line, all that good stuff. I never appreciated just how much lore, excessive amounts of lore and such they put into games like Elder Scrolls or even in Genshin Impact. So I didn't take the time to read any of those. But I always wish that I could find time to do so. Eventually, you know. Oil? Wow. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Gotta be careful to not get lost again, though. I'm somewhere around here. Need some milk. And some water to wash it down with. I'm not the only person that needs to hydrate, you know? You know, for bandits, they are f very fairly... Well organized, aren't they? It's kind of weird to me that's considered a bandit camp. I wonder if I can cross into their territory, go to the other side, and cross the bridge. Furthermore, I wonder what's over here in this fort. Because... The Vandalville Fortress is full of assholes, but what about the other fortress? If we're careful, maybe we will not get ourselves killed in the process. Ooh! A fruit I've never seen before. Grab by seeds. Some purple domestics as well.
such a majestic looking fortress there. Some camp that turns out to be. If I run into bandits, I can just take them out one at a time. Bring my loot back to my hometown, sell them, and continue on my journey. Man, the landscapes in this game are beautiful as always. Surprised there's no one manning the guard posts. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, I'm feel I'm so dumb. Oh shit! Ah! Oh. That scared the shit out of me. Assholes, putting a fucking trap there. Whew, that scared the hell out of me. Oh man, those bastards. They have a trap there, but thankfully, 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 I brought bandages with me. Gonna see if we can sneak around the bandit camp, though. A hollow trunk here, full of... Huh. Thank you. And another hatchet. Despite my issues with having a hatchet last time, I can at least equip this... And equip my... Special ability again. Now... My luck's any indication, I'm certain there's probably going to be traps on that bridge too, huh? Ancient ruins over there as well. And I guess this must be the other bridge. Did I somehow miss a secondary bridge over here? What the hell? What loot will I find this time? Assuming I could get there without getting myself killed. You know, for ancient ruins, this place is pretty... well put together. It does not open from here, huh? Curious. From whence does it open then? Hmm? Is there like a secret thing around here? Hmm. Mystery for another time, I suppose. Now, what is that? Those rocks look... Thought so. I did think that those, that salt looked a little out of place. You can kind of tell when something is actually uh, interactor interactoritable is a word that I just made up just now. I see you there. I see the trap. I will not step on the trap this time. I see another trap over there as well. What time is it? Only 11 in the morning. Making good time so far on our exploration. 
Some nice uh, seaweed over here. Some fish here too, but I did not bring any fishing equipment with me this time. This land is bountiful. Kind of gives me, uh, whoa. There we go. Kind of gives me RuneScape vibes to the whole carrying around a pickaxe to just mine random bits of rock. If I had kept going this way, would I have to end up at the Cabal of the Wind Tower? Or maybe that's where I was, actually. The Cabal of the Wind Tower is right there. Curious. I find it hard to believe, though, because... Hmm... Oh, I understand now. So we crossed this. Want to go? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Still haven't run into any bandits since, uh, earlier. Amalite boots. Read that. Tattered hood for my head. Don't need that. Don't need a shiv either. This has got to be one of the most useless barricade palisades I've ever seen. Ta -da. Wow, such difficulty. Very stop. We are over here now, somewhere. Heading towards the purple zone. What is up there? Will curiosity get the better of me and get me killed? You bet your ass. It's probably this thing over here. Wow. <laughs> well, that is just nice. And even a stash up here as well. Let's see what's in this, this supply cache, huh? Uh, more arrows. Could always use that. More bandages. And some tripwire traps. Mm. Maybe I just should sell these tripwire traps as many of them as I find. Do 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 I wonder if these things are like need to be primed or what? Deploy. Oh, okay, so you need to arm it to it like stuff. Mm -hmm. And you could arm it with. That's really cool, actually. So you could just arm it with just about any weapon. Do 
we are around here. So Overlook is over there, and we're over here. So we're all going to be entering there and make a hard left towards Alpha, towards Albuquerque. Hey, look, some dogs. I haven't had to fight those things yet. Can't imagine it'll be that fun. Some more salt to mine. Salt crystallized from all the tears of people who had no idea what they were getting into when they first got this game. What am I looking on? I wonder how much salt sells for anyway. That's a big plant thing. I wonder if it's harvestable. It is not. The last time I was here at that, and I saw a crash carriage, there was a pirate gang waiting to gank me. And I wonder if they will show up again this time. Guess not. If we make a left, we'll have... Actually, this should head back home. And this... So, we're looking at this map. Facing north. This should go towards the Bandit Cape. And this should head back to Serzo. If we head this way, facing south, we should make a left go towards the fort. Boomers like to do this stupid shit where they're like, Herder, here's a map of these states. I bet you don't know what this is, huh? You just use the GPS on your phone and like... I mean, aside from telling the difference between the different uh, roads, symbols, it's not that hard to use a map. You don't need much of a brain to do that, you know? I saw something interesting over here. I may have been wronged. I really like this trippy, you know, these colors of this purple grass. Well, what's up here? Have I been here before? I should be around here soon. There's a bunch of metal. There's an iron vein here. Got a gravel beetle. Enter Immaculate's Cave. Hmm. I wonder what's inside. Dungeon diving. Chersonese miscellaneous dungeons, it says. Oh, man. There is something right there to my right. It does not look friendly at all it's reading whatever it is it appears to be reading something maybe it's friendly Um, 
I guess I could just run to the exit, right? Is it just reading? It is just reading a book, or what is that thing, anyway? How has it not noticed me? Looks like a bird mechanic, a bird robot thing. Spooky. Um. Oh, okay. It's not so. It's not immediately hostile. A sea breeze and the trailer in those seats always fills me with the urge to travel. It's a pity that winter is so unbearably cold. Who are you? What's your name? Names are a human thing. My kind can tell one another apart without such arbitrary nonsense. We only call ourselves immaculates because that's what your kind calls us. What are you doing here? I'm on a journey. I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to see all that this world has to offer. I would like to be free of these instinctual shackles. If I had never had to harm another person or beast again, I would be content. You seem to enjoy reading a lot. Yes, the knowledge from humans long, go long since gone is quite valuable. And the way your kind makes fake history story makes fake history stories for the purpose of amusement. It is a comfort to me on the lonely road that I walk. Can you help me? I don't possess much, but I can offer you a piece of my survival gear. What need drives you? I need shelter, equipment, storage, power. Fine, you need it more than Huh. Well, I was completely wrong. It appears that this thing, um, is harmless. Let's go explore their, um, hovel here. So much for this being a miscellaneous dungeon. I'm assuming he will not appreciate if I steal from his house, though. So in the interest of not uh, causing a fight, let's not do that. Ooh, a small sapphire. We can finally head back to the Trog Cave. That's a big-ass uh, weapon he's got there. Do I dare open the chest and risk pissing him off? Oh, that's interesting. You can't talk to him again to get something that you need. He has a little bird friend. I must say I'm humbled. I was really expecting to have to fight something, but uh, that thing did not try to bite me at all. Do I head back now and try out the cave again, or do I go proceed to the fort? But if I recall correctly, I think the fort is in ru is actually in ruins. Let's see. Actually, I think I can't even access the fort yet because the last time I was there, it was empty or something. Well, we're about to find out. We're getting close to it. Do I have to go through the fort to get to the... Huh. May the fort used to be owned by the Cabal? Is 
such a great condition, though. All things considered. Whoa. That's cool. Look at all this cool stuff I found. Is that a ghost? Is that what that thing is? I'm assuming it's hostile. Let's try to avoid it for now. No need to provoke a fight if we can avoid it in a game like this. Ooh, bird's eggs. Don't mind if I do. That's not a ghost. It almost looks like a... A plant. Interesting. What I presumed was an enemy was actually not even sentient. A corpse here. Oker Spice Beetle acquired. Night Falls. Will we be safe here? That is for us to find out. It's only six in the evening. We'll need to make a fire and cook these things fairly soon. Do I have wood? I guess I'll just strip some wood off the uh, local trees then. Like that one over there. Oh, shit. What is that? It appears to be dead. It appears to be very dead. There's got a bunch of swords and spears and shit stuck in its back. That's a creepy motherfucker, though. It's interesting that it's not giving me any interactive sh interaction options with that thing. Lots of corpses around there. Take the quarter staff. I remember when I dropped that there. Hold together wood. All right. Let's make us a campfire really quick. We're going to go ahead and break for camp. Don't do this at home, kids. 
He does make a campfire underneath a ru underneath a ruin along with the um along with Sedampio 10 next to it. Great way to cause problems. I'm just doing so because uh it's relatively safe here, right? Ambush isn't so bad. Let's have a full night's sleep. We can't afford to sleep completely, so... Ah, shit! You scared me. Oh, fuck. Hey, Flan. God damn, that scared me. <laughs> Woo. It scared the shit out of me. Thought I was being ambushed over for a second. How you doing, Flan? Mm hmm You are hungry. You are thirsty. Well, I have solutions to both of those problems. Let me just make a campfire really quick, and we'll solve the next problem as well. Hard boiled eggs. This game is called Outward. It is a game about exploring in a very hostile fantasy world. Um, trying to basically recover after losing everything to a blood depth and also to um, just bad luck. Originally in the beginning of the game I had five days to pay off my debt so I didn't get kicked out so I didn't get kicked out of my home, but unfortunately I failed that when I got captured by bandits a few times. So now I'm homeless, and I'm just sort of making ends meet exploring the wider world. Right now I'm here. We're gonna let this uh, fire go on for a while. Let us continue our explorations inside this fortress. It can be. It could also be an extremely stressful game. But right now, it's pretty relaxing. How far can I get here before I get in trouble with the local authorities? Let's have some breakfast. Some delicious, delicious hard-boiled egg. Huh. 
There's a water skin here, too. Don't mind if I do. Looks like a spiritual varnish. What's this thing? Thick fluid that confers the ethereal element when applied to a melee weapon. Cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Interesting. I was watching some Malcolm and some kid that didn't talk just popped in. Do we name him Egg? And everyone called him like that. And it was pretty funny. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see, fresh blood. And a basement. Clearly, I should investigate further. Curiosity killed the cat. If I'm not careful, I'm going to be killed too. Could be worse, I guess. Like, I kind of wonder if I can even kill those things. Do I need magic weapons or whatnot? I have things here, or, but these are only for melee weapons. So I don't even know. If they would work. Or maybe, actually, it says here, confers the ethereal element when applied to a melee weapon. I guess that means that if I apply this, I can actually do damage to them, right? Do they see me? Oh shit, I think he see I think he saw me. I think he saw me. He definitely saw me. Oh man. If there's a purple light following me, that means he's coming. Fighting in this game is exceedingly hard. But I could see if I could win. The only problem is, which one of these weapons am I going to... So, let's try using this uh, spiritual varnish, Shawnee. Oh, cool. It makes my hatchet ethereal. Now I can fight the uh, ghost person. I am hungry. Looks like that wasn't enough. Okay. Uh, then I'll need to eat some eggs some rations let us attempt let's see oh it stays it stays ethereal huh Uh, wait, he actually took damage from that. Ow, oh, shit. A single strike from him did so much damage already.
Awesome. I won. I can't believe I killed a ghost. <laughs> this game is multiplayer. You can play two player in this game. I need to heal though. I, I need to heal. Um, I need to heal. I need to heal. It doesn't last very long. It only lasts for the next 8 seconds or so. Well, I was still able to kill something with it. That figures. It won't last forever. <laughs> it might still be on sale on good, old, on good old games. It's fairly expensive. But it goes on sale a lot for some reason. Oh, another ethereal creature critter. Maybe I can just shoot him from afar repeatedly. You stay right there. Oh, shit. Spooky! Too spooky for me! Far too spooky for me. I have so many arrows, I could probably just take these guys out over time with pure attrition. Something tells me I'm gonna get myself killed during that, though. Oh, that tab targeting is gonna get me killed, too, if I'm not careful. They dodge, or at least make the effort to try and dodge. Tactical retreat. I wonder if they heal if you. Oh. Uh. Huh? Oh wait, no, that's where I killed the last, the last uh, thing, I guess. I need to heal my stamina. Or something. Nice, 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 nice. You promoted me on you. It's a Dark Soul. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Much appreciated. Ah! No ammunition equipped? Oh, come on. That's okay. I got plenty of ammunition. I just need to equip it. Okay. Come on, bastard. Come on. I got more arrows where I came from. Where are you? I'm bluffing. I only have 15 arrows left.
I have enough calcium, thank you. Fucking shit, they dodge. Oh my god. Bastard. I only have three arrows left. Gotta make them count. I got to restore my stamina really quick. Am I even doing any damage to a freaking ghost? Do I even have a ghost of a chance? Oh my god, I can't believe I won a second time and I didn't even have the anti-ghost stuff. <laughs> oh man, that that was fun. <laughs> I can't believe I won that. That I did. That I did. And it paid off. That was cool. That was actually that felt rewarding. Fighting a clearly stronger foe than I was equipped to handle and still winning. Thank you. Aw, I loved it. Thank you for the head pat. Much appreciates. A shame I had to use so many arrows just to kill that guy, though, and I don't have any replacement arrows at the moment. Let's see what we can loot from here. Some star mushrooms. I'm gonna sell that to the old lady. Some mushroom. Oh, I can learn how to cook, how to make pungent paste. Good, that's kind of important. I just remembered that there are no maps in the dungeons in this game, so if I'm not careful, I could potentially get lost. Especially when the dungeon starts doing crazy shit like this. Uh, let's not go over there. I do not want to fight that guy. He looks scary. He looks like he can kick my ass right now.
I wonder if he can open doors. Hopefully, the answer is no. Does not open from there? I guess I have to go through there, then. I'm really interested in learning the history of this fort, how it came to be. I'm still kind of... Still kind of amazed that I killed two ghostly uh, night dudes. I wonder if I can kill this one too. He's just sort of chilling there. I don't have any more spectral varnish, so I can't just cheese them. What time is it in-game, actually? 11 in the morning? In-game? Hmm. Wait, is it 11? Day 20? It must be morning because it's still light out there on top. And how is my equipment looking, uh, durability-wise? Man, pad armor doesn't protect for shit, does it? <laughs> oh, thank you for using Henshin. Changed my... I could have used a change of clothing. Let's make some more arrows before we continue. Got 11 of those now. Only 11, though. So I guess I need to go through this just to get over here to the Cabal of the Wind Tower. And who knows how long that's going to take. Should be a fun adventure, though. For now, I think I'm going to count my blessings and head back and make use of this fun stuff that I have or make use of all this these goodies I found within brew some tea especially some uh, this I also need to head back head to the troglodyte cave again and put this uh, small sapphire to good use Now, the question is, can I make it back home without something terrible happening to me? We will find out soon enough. There are bandits right there. I wonder if I can take them. I suppose if I can, I could just run away. Better yet. Um, I need to drink. 
I'm going to set up some traps here. Oh, shit. And you're dead. Ha! Huh. I needed that. Unfortunately, it appears to have destroyed my pickaxe. Good thing I have enough. Good thing I can just get another another one fairly easily. But let's go ahead and kill the other bandits while we're at it. With another spring-loaded trap. Now I just need to find the other bandit. Took you long enough. I don't think he realizes I'm here. And pretty soon he's not going to be able to do anything about it anyway. Come on. Where'd he go? Wow, I didn't need to do anything after all. Huh. Who'd have thought? An iron sword? Yes, please. So much stuff to sell when I get back home. Oh, but I lost my pickaxe. I can't do any more mining. That's how it'd be in this bitch of an earth. bag is slightly overweight, but that's okay. We can just put something in our pocket to help reduce the weight a little bit. A few more than a few things in our pocket, in fact. All right. Let's head back home. Going this way. Fairly sure I visited this already. Visited this already. Yep, everyone here is already dead, unfortunately. I'm gonna go this way. Go west, young woman. Go west. Wolves. No need to mess with them, so let's run past them and head up ahead ahead uh back to town.
Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that they were there. One of them has a shield, too. Don't feel comfortable fighting both of those guys at the same time right now. It's alright, though. We're almost to town. In fact, they stopped bothering trying to follow me at this point. Hey, you. Ugly. Are they hiding behind the fence? Really? Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit! And he's dead. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There you are. You're mine. <laughs> oh shit, uh... This one can dodge. Still, that was kind of a harrowing fight. That could have gone a different way, you know. Where's the other guy? I know I dropped him around here somewhere. Here he is. Brown shield, iron mace. A bunch of food, some scraps. It really clicks when you learn how the fighting mechanics work in this game. One moment. Just checking something really quick. I wonder if I'm supposed to be using the Iron Mace over the... But... 
I don't have any skills for the Iron Mace, so it doesn't have much value for value to me, unfortunately. What can I do for you? All right. All right. What can I do for you? You can do a lot of things for me. Hmm. Thank you. Can you repair my stuff, guy? How much does it cost for you to repair everything I have? What can I do for you? All right. For 50 silver? Damn, he's expensive. I need to make some tea. Hundred and fifty silvers. I'm almost rich. Light campfire. I can make some soothing tea. A lot of bitter spicy tea though. Miner's Omelette. Oh, I don't have any more eggs. Okay. Hmm. Give me a fishing harpoon so we can go fishing. Fish not biting today? Oh, here they are. Worker boots. Those are totally a fish. And very tasty.
make ceviche yet? What am I missing? Trout? Oh, man. You mean to tell me you don't even use salmon? You don't even make salmon with this stuff. You need trout. Damn. Boiled Azure Shrimp. More food waste. Is there a way to get rid of food waste? Because they're just taking up my inventory space and cluttering the world. Honestly. Plenty of travel rations. I kind of want to end my today's session here on a good note. No deaths. Killed a bunch of ghosties and other enemies and even a bunch of bandits. That's fairly good, I think. All things considered. Let's go ahead and save the game by taking a nice sleep. I think it saves the game anyway. That's the impression I got. We've sure come a long way, honestly. From dying repeatedly in this game and having crashing issues to be able to do a full session with no problems and even kill some things. It's just that this game requires so much effort to stay alive that while I greatly enjoy my experience, it does start to fatigue after a while. <laughs> Still. We have half an hour to spend together, still left to spend together. Why don't we continue our attempts to speed run, or semi speed run, I should say, metal unit?
Give me a moment here. Hmm. Where's Steam? That's strange. Oh, I'm dumb. There it is. That's interesting. There's a section now where if you make a review and a bad review and you play some more, it will say something like, would you like to revise your review? I would love to. I think I will. Synchronizing the Steam Clouds. Steam Cloud's been having issues lately. I wonder, I hope it doesn't do anything to my computer. There we go. Oh shit, that's way too loud. Woo! Bur blew out my ear, almost blew out my ears just then. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. All right, there we go. Let us continue then. I died last time, unfortunately. We're gonna see how much my stuff I can regain, but thankfully I did store a bunch of my better weapons in a contain in the uh, container over here and we did unlock legendary weapons last time so I think that we can make an honest run of the ice stage once more see how far we can get I need to get masteries on all these things still Last bastion of humanity. The old jammer stands in the way. Not for long, it doesn't. Oh, would you look at that lightning strike? <laughs> oh, you're dead. You are dead. Deader than dead. Ultra dead. Omega dead. I'm surprised there isn't a get ready a game called Omega Dead. Keeps kind of catchy, right? Oh, crap. Huh. Uh, ooh, another... Here's the pyramid again. Is this the pyramid stage? Oh, ho, ho. It is not the pyramid stage. Okay. I realized I lost all my monies too when I died. That was a good cup of brand. I won't be able to buy the bullshit weapons for a while from the random NPCs that populate this area. Gronut item acquired. Huh. Already?
Good thing I got that upgrade already. Make it so that the ice no longer melts. And blood acquired. Equip that. Equip the falcon with this. Equip the falcon with that. Oh, thought I fell to my death for a second there. Hunter shoes acquired. All right, this is the flame spirit's almost ready. So I can switch to Hunter shoes fairly soon. Of all goes well. Ow! Bastard. Ruins at the foot of a cliff, a sense of sadness lingers. You shouldn't linger on things, you know? How are you supposed to get over them? Look at me taking my own advice. Fire starter acquired. Do I did I already use fire starter? Okay. I love these slime creatures, oh my god. So much gold, so much garbage. Beautiful. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'll need this one. I can dump one of these, I can dump that too. Sniper rifle for 10. Arpeggio. Arpeggio of the blue steel. Dragon's figurine. Photo. Really want the dragon claw again. That was really cool. It seems useful. Now equip that and I'll dump these two. Huh? Path of the blade. Deals additional damage after four melee attacks. That's interesting. I've never seen this sword before. Love it when that happens when the game gives you an Asu and Lotus as well. I need Lotus. I need Lotus to make cool stuff. I also need Lightning Blades, but I have one of those at home. So to speak, you know. Not literally at home. You get what I'm saying, right? Huh? Oh, it causes judgment. Okay. I understand. I thought it was actually like a sword sword. How do I have two M bloods? That's funny. Fifty health, and this is very early in the game, so I feel comfortable going here. In this ice, ice hell.
Come on, re come on. Reload the drone faster. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. The jumping puzzles. Wait. You know, that seems that's so much easier than what I had in mind. Oh man. Uh, why am I doing it the hard way? Another banshee laser. I'll be needing that. Hello, nurse. Can either make a super weapon or a dimensional blade with this baby. Game really wants me to use Gronauts, huh? Oh my god. I almost never get to see that thing actually fire before it dies. What's beneath here? Nothing. See you there, ninja. That gun is toast. Let's use the camera. Reloading. Blizzard item acquired. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> this case seven missile is not very good, is it? Use up the lotus now, please. Oh man. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit.
How are you not dead? we got here we can now make dragon pauldrons awesome let's do it let's unlock them yolo fills you with how do these work it contains the courage of a dragon. Gather energy while in the air and send a blast after landing. That's insane, and it does 400 damage. Holy shit. Hmm. Hope I'll be able to hold on to that, but it's unlikely. Uh, evil M. Eagle. Already used that one up, though. Don't need another one of these. I wonder what happens if I put two of these together. It just makes a random that's down. Need an arrow, don't need that either. Oh, rape here. Cool, cool. Aha, Gunlug. Frost Dragon swallows up the whole area in froth. Frost Day. Needs Dragon Spear. I'll need to redo Forestia a few times. No rush, anyway. I can make a dragon wake if I do the Foresti one more time and get the uh, dragon stuff. Assuming I survive this run anyway. And that's starting to look sound like a tall order, unfortunately. But we'll see. You never know. Who knows what the future holds? What's the gimmick of this stage? Ah, shit. I can't aim for crap. <laughs> Fucking... So glad that one can shoot through walls. the ice cubes. No! Stop! <laughs> oh, bad. Am I frozen again? Holy shit. Alright, so these have been used up. Oh no. Where's the last one? There you are. 
This sniper rifle is so bad. Which I guess is the point, but... Got my dragon hunt back again. The dragon heart. The soul of a dead dragon is trapped within this heart. I do believe this may be the entrance to the pyramid again, huh? Nice, we'll get to do a redo of last time. <laughs> Usually I kill a thing faster than it can fire its energy beam bullshits, but it looks like that's the first time I was not able to accomplish this feat. Much longer in the masteries than these. This is not rising because I'm not hitting enough things with my melee attack, it looks like. Yizzy is almost done then. Here we go again. At least I know where everything is. So this won't be too bad. I just need to play it smart. Gold nugget? I've never gotten this before. Is this new? Or did I just never run into it? Hmm. Don't need to go here anymore because I know what's over there. Shit. Ow! I need to stop being so careless. You guys want some of this, huh? Is that it? Oh man, wish this would. Oh man. Oh my god. There goes one of my potions. Am I gonna have enough health to even fight the boss? That's a good question.
How much more do you need? How much more do you need? Seriously. Oh, gold bars. Can I just harvest gold bars from this room? Is that the secret all along? I could just... I wonder if a Koopa knows about this. Oh my god. So that's where this thing was hidden. It was hidden in the freaking pyramid this whole time. Who would have thought? Right? I've already found all the hidden items here. And it won't do it anymore. Does that even count towards my... I guess so. I guess you can only do this so much before it stops giving you free shit. That's not raising very fast, so this is not really sustainable in the long run. is full. Give me the gold nuggets. Suspicious fragment. <laughs> hmm. Suspicious indeed. I need a weapon that can shoot through... Uh... Oh no. I don't have a weapon that can do that anymore, can't do I? 
I'll have to resort to using specials. So otherwise this map will be such a pain in the ass. One then. One. Oh shit. It didn't so well last time. What makes it harder now? Like, almost obnoxious even. There we go. There we go. If I recall correctly, the sword should be in there. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's empty now? Shit. Is it not here anymore? That's gonna burn if there's so. Only a few of them got destroyed. Rip. Bullets do not penetrate. Hmm. Strange, I thought I muted myself. Anyway, what was I doing? Yeah. Okay, switch this with a more useful item, please. Something like. Oh, really? No, I didn't get anything for my trouble that time. Wait. Well, at least I got my health, some of my health back. Kinda sus if you to ask me. Oh. 
going on gym TVs. What makes you say that? Oh, I think I understand what you're referencing now. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, ow. Come on, Ben. Come on, come on. Derp, derp. Nothing here. I feel cheated. Ow. I remember the stage. I remember what you're supposed to do too. Come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me the free shit. Come on. Oh, it's not here anymore. Shit. Do I lose access to those items forever now because of my death? I guess so. I remember this one too. Fairly easy puzzle all around. What am I doing? I'm just using these things willy-nilly without even thinking. I'm playing a game? I would have never thought. Would have never thought. What if we are the game and the game is playing us? Now that's a dangerous opinion. Do I have any better guns that I could use? That need using? Hoggy game. Hey Sonu, long time no talk. How have you been? Ow. Oh, you've been alright. That's good to hear. Did I die? Fuck. Not too bad for half-assing, I guess. And I got a lot of CCs this time. I can't believe the first time I played this game, I did this pyramid mission, to, like, on the first try. Uh, I've been up and down. Been pretty good lately, what with really getting to VTubing and all that. <laughs> so I'm alright, I guess. <laughs> Ow.
I actually need to go. I started having my sessions from 5 to 8 instead of 8 to like 12 because it was getting kind of late and I found myself staying up until like 1 or 2 in the morning. So I've been able to do around 3 sessions or so 4 times a week, which is pretty, which works out pretty well. I'm actually planning on hosting a collab, a, uh, coll my first ever collab. It's gonna be a writing one. Just need to finish up some forms here before I send them out to people. It's gonna be lit. How's Danger You been? I haven't been back in a few weeks. We're going to go ahead and raid. Hmm. We haven't seen it, said hi to Penny Mies in a while, and she's just back after she went on hiatus for a little while. For our raid message, let's use. Lull's raid. Oh no, I'm bugging out. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Sadly. I can fix it really quick though. Thanks to the power of SSDs. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Nice seeing you again, Sonu. Say hi to Danger You for me. And Venboy, thanks for Venboy and everyone else. Thank you very much for coming to tonight's stream. Much appreciates. Dandy knees. See ya. Stay safe. Prepare to raid. Three of your See you next time. Hey, yo, what's happening?